Hi everyone, Fernando Perez here, that guy that plays world music with the guitar. So here I want to give you a second quick tip to start sounding uh, more Indian or more authentic when you're playing Indian music or Hindustani music on the guitar, especially on the slide guitar. All right, although many of these things you can apply them to different types of guitars, even if it's not a slide. Okay, as I was mentioning in other videos, uh, we like the slide because it brings us, us closer to, to the vocal, to the voice, okay? And, and the vocal music is, is like the, the king, you know, in Indian music, and that's and what we want to imitate with the instruments, all right? So, one thing that will happen and that we need to understand when we want to play Indian music, it's... Uh, to start sounding more Indian, we gotta stop playing so childlike, okay? And I explain you this, okay? In India, if you play for somebody used to their music, uh, when, for instance, if we were to play on scale like this, okay, we would never play notes like this, just the note straight, you know, like you take, for instance, a flute or even a guitar on, on classical Western music, and you go straight for the notes, like, a, B, C, whatever the note is, you know, you can put ornaments, but not as much as in Indian music. But many times we just play the notes one after the other and that's the melody. But in Indian music, it's never like that. I like to compare it to, to Indian cooking, like for food, okay? There is no way you go to an Indian person or in India and you ask for something without spices. Because there is no conception of good Indian food without spices, all right? So the music is the same thing. To play melodies like this, will be like cooking with our spices. So, now we always need to add some ornaments to the notes we're playing. There are many of them on Indian music that you can learn, all right? For instance, if I just approach every note sliding from the one on top of it, like this, Now that starts sounding a little bit better, yeah? Let's say if I want to do, in some notes I can come from the note above or from the note, from the note below and I just slide on into it like... You see, I go to this C sharp from B This I can do it in many different ways, like fast or slow. Then to, to E I can go from F sharp. And now I'm gonna go to F sharp and I'm gonna do E, G sharp, F sharp. So if I start. G sharp E, G sharp, G sharp A, G sharp A. The whole thing again. And even making variations out of it, you know, it's, it's, it's not as difficult when you start. And then there are many different ways. As, as you listen more to Indian music and to the great maestros of Indian music, you will start catching all these details. And that's what the music is about. De details, all right? So remember, never just go... That sounds very childlike for Indian music and to a, a, a person that is used to Indian music or the Indian musical culture, all right? So remember, put always your spices on the notes you play. Mm -hmm.